Hi, Craig here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the processes that were involved in us building our shallow pebble stream water feature. Adding a stream water feature to your garden is something that you won't regret doing. It adds movement, relaxing sound and sparkling light to any garden and it will attract wildlife. But it's not the easiest process. I'm gonna talk you through every stage of this water feature build. From initial sketches, through digging the holes, and then changes we've made after living with this stream for a couple of years. This very rough, very quick sketch was created three years ago when we were just planning our tiny tropical garden. And you can see, even at the earliest stages, I'd wanted a stream. And this sketch was my starting point. I knew I wanted pools to flow from the patio down toward the end of the garden. So the next stage was to dig the rough holes. Of course, being an impatient gardener, I already had plants at hand. And as I was digging, I kept placing them around the edges of the stream, just to give me an idea of how it might feel. I'd really recommend doing this because now is the time to play around with the layout of your stream. And if putting plants around the edges, if it helps, do that because it's so much easier to make your changes now. To waterproof our stream water feature, I'll be using pond lining. So it's gonna need edging stones to hide any visible lining after the build. And luckily I managed to rescue these from my parents who were clearing out their garden. Again, I'm just playing with the layout early on. Like I say, now is the time to do it because it's a lot easier to make changes. It snowed halfway through the build of our stream. So it was an opportunity for me to take a break. And again, I recommend you do this. Just step back and look at your stream. Don't get too involved in the project. You need to remember to come away from it and look at it and just linger on it for a while and you'll know if there's anything that needs to change. And in the case of our stream, it was an opportunity for me to see that I had to dig it wider and deeper. And here you can see the final width and length that I dug for our stream, ready for the pond lining to go in. The first material we laid in our stream water feature was like a fleece underlay. This acts as a protective layer to stop any stones or roots penetrating the liner and causing a leak. And then on top of that, I laid the waterproof pond liner material. And as an extra protective layer, we did a thin lining of concrete to help the stream hold its shape and protect the liner again from things like dog's claws or any tools falling into the pond. And before long, it was time for one of the best moments of any water feature build. Filling it up and seeing how it looked. And thankfully, this one was watertight. And it only took a couple of hours for the local wildlife to come and find our new stream. A key thing to consider when you're building yourself your new stream is what pump you're gonna use. When you buy a pump, you need to make sure it's powerful enough to return enough water to the top of the stream. So just be sure to double check that when you're buying your equipment. And the plan for our stream was to have a pump sitting in the bottom pool of the stream with the return pipe buried just beneath the soil alongside the stream, which would pump the water back into the top pool, allowing it to flow down, giving that natural stream effect. And I'll be honest, after quite a bit of faffing around, we managed to get the pump and the pipe right so that we had just the right amount of water flowing down the stream, giving the look we wanted. And you'll have noticed that we filled the pools with pebbles to give it a real natural riverbed look. And at this stage, we were very happy with how it looked. And now it's just waiting for the plants to grow in around it. Almost three years later, the plants have grown in around the stream beautifully and have softened the edges, making it look like a natural shallow creek just flowing through the middle of our garden. Almost everybody that visits our garden loves the stream water feature. And I can't recommend enough that you add a water feature to your garden 
both you and the local wildlife will be so happy that you've done it. But after all this time, we've learnt a lot and there are some things we'd like to change. I am so happy that we lined our stream with concrete because when friends and family come to visit and they let their dogs loose in our garden, I can just sit back and relax and watch the animals enjoy playing in the stream because I know that pond liner is protected. But now it's spring in our garden and it's the perfect time for me to make some changes to our shallow pebble stream water feature. The first quick fix that I need to make is clearing out any leaf matter or things that have fallen into the water. This will stop it from getting murky and will just make sure the pond water stays fresh and clean. And anything that I pull out from the water I'm just going to place into the plant beds either side of the stream. So any wildlife that's living in the leaf matter can crawl out and make its way back to the water. The next thing I'm going to change is removing some of those pebbles that we added to the stream to make it look shallower. By not actually having deep water, it's causing the water to evaporate very quickly on hot summer days. So I just want to make it a bit deeper so that the water stays cooler for longer. Luckily, for me, this is an easy fix because I can just remove these pebbles. But this is definitely something I've learned from when I've been building my stream water feature. Make it as deep as possible. By having deeper water in the summer months, your water will stay cooler and it won't evaporate as fast. Whereas in the winter months, by having deep water, it helps it stay warmer and it won't freeze solid. Here you can see all of the pebbles that we've removed from our stream water feature. And in the days following this, we didn't have to top up the water level once, which is a massive improvement. Another change that we made to our stream was adding an overflow pipe that I concreted into the side of the pond that would drain any excess water away. However, I made a mistake at the height I put it at and it meant the stream was always too shallow and I could never fill it up because it would just flow away. So I broke the overflow pipe out from the concrete at the edge of the stream and I've covered up the pond liner with these spare pebbles. And it means that the water can stay at a much higher level now, which is great. Like I say, the more water you have in your water feature, the better. So this is how we built, enjoyed and tweaked our stream water feature. And it just shows, we don't get everything right first time. It's okay to make changes. That's what gardening's all about. Doing, learning, and tweaking. But hopefully this has inspired you to go ahead and make that stream water feature that you've been dreaming about. And remember, all it starts with is a sketch. And before you know it, both you and your local wildlife will be enjoying the stream water feature that you've worked hard to add to your garden space. If you're looking for more inspiration, please check out the Tropical Tribe website. And to support this channel, press that subscribe button. Now, if you've got any questions or tips, comment below, and I will see you all in the next video.